Hi guys, what's up? This is Paul here, back for some more Civilization V, a noob's journey. And last episode, we took over the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. A lot of people told me just to buy the courthouse. But when a city is in revolt, which I believe it is, or resistance, sorry, you can't do anything. So that means I can't buy one. I know I have a lot of stockpile cash sitting up here, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just really not in the mood to, you know, <laughs> put that to good use. Um, so I've been talking a little bit with uh, the guys and nothing confirmed yet. But we put together a Civilization 5 group on Skype and uh, hopefully just gathering the players. Um, a few people who are interested is uh, Nebris, you know, uh, PSJ, um, Doc. I'm not really sure who else we're going to go for, but... Uh, I'm not even sure if this will ever come to fruition, so don't be, uh, don't be sort of expecting that. I'm actually thinking of going over here and capturing Melbourne next, so that's probably my best bet. I'm actually going to send a few people over there. Um, so what I come to you with today is a conundrum, and that is uh, if I'm looking to get better at this game in the shortest amount of time, then what advice would you give? What uh, sort of you know country should I play? What tactics are the best or the most sort of yielding in terms of experience? And uh, where do I go from there? Because obviously this series has shown me that blowing everything inside up is obviously not the best bet to uh, you know to win the game. There's a lot more. Um, I want to host it. If I got one, more than one delegate, I have two, so we'll commit two into there so we can host it in our area. So, uh, yeah, I ask you guys, what do I do? Uh, hopefully I'm going to be streaming some of this. Um, you know, not, not this actual series, but hopefully I will be streaming some uh, Civilization in the future. And the idea with that is, uh, the idea with that is really just to try and uh, get better at the game because <clears throat> people like Doc obviously have played the Civ series for a while, Nebris and uh, PSJ are pretty good at it and I kind of don't want to go in and just admit, you know, I I don't mind not winning, okay, but I just don't want to get my ass kicked completely you know, and uh, <laughs> that's the only thing holding me back from doing sort of multiplayer, because I'm you know, I've got a few people telling me oh, you're such a noob, you're such a noob Yeah, I, I know I'm a noob, it's you know, uh, it's sort of self-explanatory when you watch me play, but, uh, hold on, can I, can you attack? We'll attack you and then we'll have the rifleman go in and claim the city. And we'll set up a trader with Rio, actually, our new found city. So, um, I guess this is sound, can go in and just claim the city. So... That's my only sort of quarrel right now. My soldiers have proven themselves. Look at this guy. This honestly, don't even give you the satisfaction of death. So minus seven. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? So I've essentially taken over that entire continent now, which is pretty sick. Um, I want to try and get a few of these boys over here, so that hopefully in a few turns we can exterminate Melbourne and Australia as well kind of harsh, but uh, we've only got, what, 70 turns remaining, so, can I buy a courthouse, I, I, I thought I could buy one immediately, apparently not, so, courthouse on the go, rifleman, I guess I'm going to send you down to try and get us, uh, Australia, and again, I guess you can also follow down there. Artillery, so where you at? I guess you can be another one. There's some ruins over there which I need to pick up. I'm gonna send my Hussar up north because I th honestly think we're gonna try and invade Sweden right now. It's gonna be one of the tougher places to invade, but you know, should be okay. And uh, move you up there as well. No, not yet. I don't wanna trigger war just yet. Can I get you to go to there? 
And I think we should be okay to go into the next turn. Which is pretty sick. Uh, slowly moving all of my army over here. So uh, we'll get you over there so we can just invade from the main lines. And we'll see where we can go. A few cargo ship activity. Or there's a few cargo ships uh, trading there, but... Russia and Portugal have signed a research agreement. Interesting. I wonder what that consists of. I wonder. I really do wonder. Okay. Give me a military academy. Unit promotion for the artillery, so we'll give it that. And I guess you can move up north as well. Uh, Sao Paulo. Okay, Catholicism. I mean, we still got the Taoist here, so I'm basically going to... Buy a great profit. A Dallas great profit. You want dyes. You want truffles. You want silk. Intact. Okay. And an agreement for those guys. Uh, again, you head up north as well. Automate. Um, there should be some encampments up here. Just destroy them for... Some basic monies. We'll get you there and put you over there. And on to the next turn we go. On to the next turn we go. Get you across there. It's so slow. I probably should focus on uh, like uh, other things. So our artillery is slowly going down here to Melbourne. And... Uh, what is that? I mean, ah, uh, it's you again. Excellent. Okay. Whoa, barbarians. Cape Town. Okay. So, ideally, I'd like to take out Cape Town. I'll move you over there as well. With a factory, and I want to an iron cloud. Okay, we'll do that. Is there any great works I can do? I don't think so. We'll do a coffee shop. And then, you know what, I want to put this SR over here, right? Let's see if we can go over there. I'm actually going to bring the artillery across the water here as well. I know it's going to be slow moving, but ideally I'd like to take out those city-states. So let's move here. Point is a two-block city-state. Move down to there. And spread. Okay, we're back to the Taoist religion here in Sao Paulo, which is actually very good. Oh, I'm so happy. Gatling gun. Hmm. Again, I'm going to send you over here as well. I know it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, but I want an army over there. Fortify you up, buddy. And Hassar, fortify. I want full health troops before we do go in and take on Helsinki in the north. Have decent enough happiness up top there as well, so things are looking pretty good. Nobody's pissed off too much, which is nice. Always good. Maria has entered the industrial area. Wow, Maria, you've surely caught up. So they'll send another pikeman down here to take on. Was that my hussar? Damn. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Let's get another Hussar in there, go. Just to make up for that. Can we get you to go across to like there? We'll bring you across down to here to attack these guys. I don't know if I want to start the siege just yet, though. Stay alert. Can you, uh, first thing first. So no, you can't actually explore too much there. Well, apparently if I go three tiles out, I should be able to hit that. So I'm going to go across there. Spread the dial in there again. Still only eight followers, but then again, there's only eight in the city, so I have no idea why I used that. That was a waste of profit. I don't know if I want to trigger war with him just yet, though. 
Har jag börjat? Ja så. Det är ni. Open borders. Vad är det nu? Embassy har jag en embassy. Det är oacceptabelt. Oh man, screw you. Just stay alert, because I want to move my troops in. Oh, the barbarian over there. On to the next turn we go, I guess. Doing pretty well, though. How our civilization has grown. Everything seems to be connected up. Pretty well. So they're trying to take out more of our artillery here. So their strength is a lot better, so let's just take them out first. To minimize the damage. There we go, an entire unit done. And a Gatling gun. Um, I want to move you down to there for some more anti-personnel help. Choose production of Geneva. I'm just going to Opera House. I like a bit of... Music now and again, factory. And a coffee house, I guess. See, this is where I struggle. Like, how do I know what to build next? Like, what is... I don't know. I'm just picking things right now, and I really shouldn't be doing that. Go there. Um, uh, move you down to here. You fortify up because you're damaged quite a bit. You musket man, you. Uh. I'm going to stay alert because I do have some things I want to do first before I actually go in and attack Sweden. I want to try and take over Melbourne today, but I'm not sure if I can get it done in the next few minutes, so we'll see. Right, I saw you go over there and attack those guys, just to get them out of the way, because they're starting to annoy me. But slowly expanding our empire, and we have enough money to buy any units that we need, in case there's any sort of bad things going on back home. And again, we have, we have a spy update Move him to, I guess, Cape Town would be nice. And move you to Vancouver. Once he pause. What the hell is that? Who got a promotion? Not gonna heal up. Um, I'd rather take them out. So you can see people from three three away, can't you? With that, which is nice. Move you over there to destroy the ruins. Public school. Can I just buy a school, man? I, let me just. Screw it, we'll buy one. There you go, enjoy. What else can we buy here? Factory, military academy? Sure, why not? I have a crap load of money. Why not? So I'm just buying things for the sake of it now, and I, I know someone's gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't buy that. But I don't know, I don't know what else to do, you know? Uh, I wish I could watch more Civ videos. Problem is, I have enough of an issue trying to get my own stuff done. I nah, will as well take those guys out. Probably the best bet. And I don't know if I can get you around here, can I? Well... Let's look over here and try and attack Melbourne with me. Let's see. Down it goes. Boom. 
You go up there. And you take that out. See ya! I wanted to take them out, but I don't think I can. I guess you just chill there and be alert. I, I wanted you over there, didn't I? Chill. Ooh. I honestly have no idea what to do with this guy. Um, or are we building like a really long thing somewhere? Okay, we'll go there then. And then we'll just sacrifice him for the, the production. But on that note, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, if you have any feedback on what I've said, please let me know. And uh, hopefully I should see you guys next episode. We have around 65 turns left. So let's see how far we can go. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This is Paul Sennett. Have a very nice day. And uh, yeah, goodbye.